Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday at Children's Church here at Branch Church of the Brethren. Hey, we are talking about the fruits of the Spirit. And we're on the fourth one today. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah, some of you got it. It's patience. I forgot one last week. Do you remember which one I forgot to say last week? Yep, gentleness. So we need to get that in there. So let's say I'm all together again from Genesis, or not Genesis, from Galatians 5.22. For the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yes, those are the fruits of the Spirit. And we are going to be talking about patience today. And I have this cool little experiment that I want to show you guys. So, but I kind of came unprepared. So can you guys be patient with me? Could you guys maybe just talk to whoever's watching this with you? Just just talk amongst yourselves So while I remember what I was doing. I'll look over my papers. Okay, thanks. Um, guys, 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 um, you kind of getting a little loud there talking to your parents, okay? I can, so let's do something else. I still can't concentrate with how loud you guys are being. So just sit there quietly, okay? Don't talk, don't move, don't do anything, because I really need to see what this experiment was about. Thank you guys for showing me patience. All right, guys, we are back. I think I figured it out. All right, so what we're going to do is I have these cups here, okay? These cups all have coffee filters in them that I cut, and we have one with a black line, one with a blue line, one with a red line. So what we're going to do is put a little water in there, not quite up to the line, so it can kind of soak up. The water will soak up towards that line there. Hopefully you can see this at home, but you can try it at home too if you ask your parents for a coffee filter and some water and markers. You can use any colors and just make sure you use black there. So, so we'll just sit and we'll kind of just wait for something to happen. I don't know if anything's gonna happen or not. Hey Rick! Yeah, Patricia. Can can we tell you a story? Um, who's we? Um, me and I don't know if anybody else here wants to help. Sure. Okay. So this waiting it reminds me of this guy named Jacob in the Bible. It says in Genesis twenty nine that Jacob was in love with Rachel. Oh, I'm gonna be Rachel and and. Ted, Ted, will you be Jacob? Yeah, I'll be Jacob. Okay, so this is what Jacob said. I'll work for you, sir. Wait, who's he talking to? We need a Laban. Um, I'll, I'll be Laban. I have a deep man's voice. Okay, great. Okay, so Jacob was in love with Rachel and said, Wait, I... I don't actually love you. This is just a story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. This is just a story, Ted. You're going to be Jacob for this, but it doesn't mean anything. Okay, okay. So, I said, I'll work for you, Laban, for seven years. In return for your daughter, younger daughter, Rachel, I want to marry her. And then Laban said, It's better that I give her to you than some other man. Stay here with me and work for me. So, yeah, that's what happened. And then Jacob served seven years. He worked seven years so he could buy me. I mean, I mean, so he could have me as his wife. Because that's how they did marriage back then. It was like prearranged and you worked for people. And it was a little different back then. But 
it was cool because Jacob wanted to marry me and it was going to be awesome. But he had to work for dad for seven whole years. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, we're in the middle of a story. I know, I know, but, but look at the experiment that Rick did. It's doing stuff. Oh, yeah, guys, look. It is doing stuff. Look, see how the red... I don't know how well you can see it, but the red is creeping up on the paper. It's getting higher and higher. The blue, it's kind of streaking out and getting higher. But look at the black. The black was just a black line. And now I see blue and I see red and I see different colors. You know why, guys? Because, because black has a bunch of different colors in it. But the whole point of that is just seeing how waiting for something that may not seem that exciting interesting it is when you have the right perspective and when you see what happens at the end like black was just black but now it has all those beautiful colors in it and we can see that because we were patient so i'll leave them there throughout our story here we'll keep seeing if they get any higher and what they do all right okay so let's get back to our story okay okay so Jacob discovered how to wait. He waited seven whole years so he could marry me. And then you know what? What, Patricia? Well, well, my dad kind of put a trick on him. What do you mean your dad put a trick on him? Well, my my dad actually married my sister, Leah. Hey, Ellie, you're going to be Leah. Okay, I guess I'll be Leah. Okay, so so what's going on? Well, Jacob here? Yep. Yeah, I worked seven years for Laban, and so I went to get married to Rachel. But I don't know if it was dark out or, or if she had a veil because of the veil on her head. I don't know why, but Leah? You know what? What? I, I actually married you, Leah. You married me. I thought you were going to marry Patricia. I mean, I mean, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to marry Rachel. That's what I thought. But Lovin, Lovin, you put a trick on me. Um, I wanted to marry Rachel, and you knew that. You knew I wanted to marry her, and you tricked me, and you made me wear marry Leah. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. But I'll tell you what. You can marry Rachel, too, as long as you stay here for another seven years and work for me. Um, are you serious, Laban? I have to work seven more years. Our deal was that I get Rachel right away. Yeah, well, the deal changed, so you're going you're gonna to work for me. Um, well, I love Rachel so, so much, so you know what? I will do it, but then I'm marrying Rachel, okay? Okay, we agree. All right, guys, so it was actually his love for Rachel that helped him. And you know what, guys? When we're feeling kind of impatient, when we're feeling like stuff's not going right, when people trick us, we have somebody that we can look to for help. Do you know who that is? Yeah, Jesus, because of what Jesus did for us. There's another verse in the Bible that maybe you'll want to read, Patricia. Yeah, it says, it says, truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Psalm 62, 1. Yeah, guys, we can find rest in God. God, because our salvation does come from him. If nothing else, if everything is going bad, let's say you guys, let's say you guys might be missing friends right now. Maybe you're stuck inside. You miss them be outside. You miss playing with friends. Maybe some of you are going to be in soccer and you can't do that right now because we can't have soccer games outside with a bunch of people. Or maybe you're supposed to play baseball and you can't do that. Or maybe your Wi-Fi is just super, super slow because everybody is on it. I don't know what it is. You probably have something that you feel really impatient about. And grown-ups is probably the same way. Your moms and dads, they, they go through the same stuff too. I'm sure they have times that they feel impatient. But you know what? We always know that we have God to look to. There's another verse I really like. 
Uh, Ellie, why don't you read that? Okay. Oh, um, which one did you want me to read? Romans 8.25. But if we look forward to something we don't have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Yeah, so we can be confident because God is there and he is providing. We can be patient and confident. You know, some translations say perseverance, and that is the same thing. Something gets really, really hard, and we persevere through it. We wait patiently, we keep working hard at it, and we keep looking to God and knowing that he has our back and he will be there for us. And then eventually it's going to get better. For instance, let's go back to our cups here. Do you see how the red is all the way at the top there? It got to where it needed to go, even though it was just a little line on the bottom. The blue, same thing. Now look at the black. The black, you still see some black, but you also see some blue and some red. You know, it got even more beautiful because we waited, because it waited. It got to be perfect. Think of a butterfly. Butterflies are caterpillars, then they have a chrysalis or cocoon, and they get inside that, and then something magnificent happens. And then when they come out of that, they turn into a beautiful butterfly. You know, that same kind of stuff can happen. We don't always know what's going to happen when we're going through something when we have to be patient. But eventually, it's going to be over. And eventually it's going to turn out how God wants it to turn out because he has everything under control for us. So don't worry about the times that are hard, the times that are tough, the times when you just don't feel like waking up in the morning or getting dressed or, or whatever it is. Those tough times, be patient and look to God for the answers because we're learning that the fruit of the Spirit is patience today. So that's a fruit that God gives us because our relationship is growing stronger with Him. He is giving us patience through the hard times in our lives that He knows that we're facing and He knows that we have. And He wants to be our help. We just need to go to Him and ask Him to be our help. So again, I didn't give you guys something like I usually do to kind of do during the thing and pause it. But after this is over, talk with each other about about being patient and what is really hard for you right now. What are you struggling with being patient with? Maybe it's being with friends or being outside or being in school, playing a sport, or maybe you don't have finances if you're older because you can't have a job or whatever it is. Just talk to each other about that and remind each other that eventually it's going to turn out. It might not be how we think. It might not even be how we ever thought it could happen, but it will turn out. And it'll be over, and God has it under control. We don't always understand that, but he does. He has it all under control. So just remember that. The yeah, fruit of the Spirit is patience, and we can persevere through the hard times and have patience. Just like at the beginning when I had you guys sit and wait quietly. Was it easier to wait whenever you were talking to each other? I'm guessing that it was, and I'm guessing that it was harder to wait whenever you were just sitting there being still and quiet and not saying anything or doing anything, because all you were thinking about is how boring this is, and you can't believe you're watching this boring video. Like, why don't you just turn it off? But then it got better. Your patience paid off. Well, at least I hope this video got better for you. If not, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best, but I hope it got better for you, so just... Just learn how to be patient and learn that waiting for something is important because while we're waiting, we are growing stronger. And most importantly, we can grow stronger in God. If we are feeling bored, get out, we can get out our Bible and open it and read about what God does for us. And you know what? To end today again, I think we're going to pray and we're going to thank God for giving us patience. So let's do that now. Lord, we thank you for giving us patience, the fruit of the Spirit of patience, Lord, that we can, we can wait when we're having hard times, when we're struggling, that we can 
persevere through it and we can be patient waiting on you because we know that you have it all under control and most importantly you have our salvation under control we can be with you in paradise one day no matter what happens on this earth thank you so much for that and so much for giving us this patience and let us learn how to use it this week in jesus name amen all right, guys, thanks for joining us another week, and I hope to see you guys real soon. Bye.